brethren or says I should tell a particular girl. He said, because I reserve the best till the last, your celebration will be superior to those who have come before you. <laughs> now this is for someone. The Lord said there's someone here tonight. He said, very soon, you will know the meaning of all things work together for good to them that love them. The Lord said there's someone here tonight. He said, you have been relegated to the back seat. He said, I will bring you to the front row. In 1 Samuel chapter 16, from verse 15 to 18, you will discover that when an evil spirit began to trouble King Saul, and the servants of King Saul said to him, huh, Sir, you need a musician to play so that these evil forces will leave you alone. He said, Okay, get me someone. And they said, We know one man who was an extremely good musician. And he was a valiant man of valor. They were talking about David. Even at home, he was already shining. And in the name that's above every other name, from now on, you too will begin to shine at home. <laughs> Number four. When a man is walking or operating under divine favor, even in strange lands, he will shine. When Joseph got to Egypt in Genesis 39, verse 1 to 6, Genesis 39, verse 1 to 6, the Bible says, almost immediately he arrived in Potiphar's house, he began to shine. Potiphar just took a look at him and saw the way things were going and said, I hand over everything to you. How do you hand over everything to a prisoner? A prisoner that you have just bought, a prisoner that you don't know anything about, but because God was arising for him. Abroad, he was shining. The Bible says in Psalm 121 verse 8, Psalm 121 verse 8, God says, I will keep your coming and your going out. In other words, it doesn't matter where you go. You will see shine there. In Daniel chapter 1, verse 8 to 20, Daniel 1, verse 8 to 20, the Bible tells us that when Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, and Daniel got to the foreign land where they were taken into slavery, the Almighty God showed them favor. And by the time they finished their training, they were ten times better than all other wise men. Abroad, they shine. Now, in Genesis 26, verse 1 to 14, Genesis 26, verse 1 to 14, Isaac was in a foreign land, and there was famine in the land. And because he obeyed God, God made him to shine. At the time when there was famine in the land, he prospered so much, he became the envy of the entire nation. I have good news for someone here tonight, very, very soon. The whole nation will know about you. <laughs> I am prophesying to someone here today. Anywhere you go, you will shine. Number five. When a man is operating under divine favor, whatever he does prospers. Genesis 39 verse 2. Genesis 39 verse 2. The Bible says, in Potiphar's house, Joseph was a prosperous man. Then, Genesis 39, verse 21 to 23. 
Genesis 39, verse 21 to 23. Even when Joseph landed in prison, again, God was with him, and whatever he did, prospered. When a man is operating under divine favor, anything he touches will begin to succeed. He will begin to prosper. In Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 7 to 8. Ah, thank you, Father. Ah, the Lord said there is someone here tonight. He said that which was introduced into you while you were sleeping have been removed tonight. Oh, thank you, Savior. Daddy said there's someone here tonight. He said, the cause of your delay has been dealt with right now. Jeremiah 17, verse 7 to 8. Jeremiah 17, verse 7 to 8. The Bible tells us that when a man puts his trust in the Lord, it will be like a tree planted by the riverside. He said, whatsoever he does shall prosper. Whatsoever. Whatsoever. Do you know that you can sell pure water? And become a billionaire oh if God is with you anything you touch will prosper if you can sell firewood and become a billionaire whatever he does shall prosper in the name that's above every other name your prosperity begins now number six when a man is operating under divine favor, his promotion is certain. There may be a delay. Like in Genesis 40, verse 1 to 23. Genesis 40, verse 1 to 23. The Bible tells us that ah, after Joseph interpreted the dream to some uh, people, and he told the one that was going to be in the court of Pharaoh, he said, when you get back to your uh, position, please remember me. And the Bible said, oh, the man just forgot him. For two years, he forgot the one who had done him good. But that's because the time wasn't right yet. When the time came, and the one who has forgotten remembered. There are many of us who are here tonight. We've done good to several people. In a time of trial, they have forgotten us. They don't even want to see us. They don't want to help us at all. But I have good news for you. Things are about to change. All those who should help you, who have forgotten you, tonight, they will have a dream. God will send them a dream so that by the time they wake up, they'll be looking for you. When a man is operating under divine favor, his promotion may be delayed, but it will surely come to pass. In Genesis 41, verse 38 to 40, Genesis 41, verse 38 to 40, the Bible says, finally, they brought Joseph out of the prison. And Pharaoh said, now, we can't find another man as wise as this. The Spirit of God is in him. Therefore, let him, let's put him in charge. You know, Psalm 75, verse 6 to 7. Lord is speaking to someone here. He said, as you begin to pay your tithe fully, he will so move you from not enough to more than enough. I rejoice with whoever this one is. And Lord said, there is someone here tonight, he said, those who said that we will soon see his end shall wait in vain. Yeah. 
Oh, thank you, Lord. It's a special case. The Lord said, there's someone here tonight. He said, anytime it is your turn, they will say no more. He asked me to tell you, I will change all that now. The Lord said, there's someone here tonight. He said, for the rest of the year, one success will follow another in quick succession for you. Isaiah 75, verse 6 to 7, Isaiah 75, verse 6 to 7, tells us that promotion does not come from the east or from the west or from the south. He said, God is the judge. He raises up one and pulls down another. God, the great promoter, will bring your promotion speedily in Jesus' name. And like I've told you before, from 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 7 to 8, 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 7 to 8, when the Almighty God decides to promote you, He keeps on promoting. He can take you to any height. It can take you to places you, you, you never dreamt possible. He just keeps on promoting. After all, His hands are everlasting arms. If human beings promote you, they can bring you down. If newspapers promote you, one day they will turn against you. But when God promotes you, He keeps promoting you forever. And I have good news for somebody here. Your promotion is beginning right now. Everything that has been denied you, shall be restored sevenfold in Jesus name <laughs> finally number seven when a man is operating under divine favor he will surely reach the top there's no way you can keep down somebody who is operating under divine favor in Genesis 41 verse 44, Genesis 41 verse 44, the Bible said, Pharaoh said to Joseph, he said, I am Pharaoh. And I'm saying to you, Joseph, in the land of Egypt, nobody will lift his hand or foot without your permission. He said, they must all obey me, and I'm saying, I will take the back seat. You rule. Nobody will do anything without your permission. Deuteronomy 28 verse 13, when you are operating under divine favor, Deuteronomy 28 verse 13, you will be head and not tail. You won't stop until you reach the top. And God is talking to someone here tonight. I say it one more time. That goal where God is taking you, you will reach there in Jesus' name. And by the time you read Mark chapter 10, the Bible says there's someone here tonight. He said, by the time the sun rises tomorrow, it will bring you a new breakthrough. Ah, I think God reserved the last for me. Amen and amen and amen. Mm. And Daddy said, there's someone here tonight. He said, I will give you a taste of exceeding great joy. <laughs> Daddy said, there's someone here tonight. He said, when next you share your testimony, people will say, surely God is great. By the time you get to Mark chapter 10, 
verse 46 to 52, back 10, 46 to 52, you hear Bartimaeus saying something about Jesus. He said, Jesus, thou son of David. Now the Bible tells us that Jesus is the king of kings. And yet the Bible records for us that David is the father of the king of kings. Now that is absolute top. Many a times some people think that when they look right and they don't see anyone, they look left and they don't see anyone, and the door is locked, they think everything is okay, I can do whatever I like now. Uh -uh. God is watching. I'm sure you had the testimony of a, a member of the choir, not, not in our church, in another church. And the pastor had agreed with her that they should go to an hotel away from the town so they can meet and uh, do all kinds of horrible things. And they got to the hotel. They were about to enter the room. Again, the, the pastor looked right and he looked left. And nobody knows us here. But as they were about to enter the room, the girl said to the pastor, Pastor, we have looked right. We have looked left. We look behind, we look in front. But we didn't look up. I said, God is watching. That's how she escaped. God is watching. Do you know God is watching you? And it's good news because if he's watching you, that's why the enemy cannot reach you without him knowing. If he's watching you, that's why he can keep your going in and your coming out. If he's watching you, that's why he can monitor what you are doing so that he can make it to prosper. If he's watching you, that's why he can make you find favor anywhere you go but because he's watching that is why you cannot afford to offend him no matter how well you lock the door you can't lock God out he himself is the door when he wants to come in he doesn't need a key that is why People have asked me again and again, why do you keep on hammering holiness? I say, I have seen a little in my few years in this world. I'm 70 years old now. I have seen people rise and fall. I have seen people promoted by God crashing to the ground, becoming nothing. Why? Because they offend God. And I can assure you of one thing. When I became born again, and I was running up and down, winning souls, coding one program after the other, some people say, take it easy. That's how they always start. Very soon, it will go down. Uh, I told them then, others may go down. This one is not going to go down. And I'm telling you, brethren, you have not seen anything yet. I'm going to keep on going higher and higher. Why? Because I have learned the secret. As long as there is no quarrel between me and God, the rest is easy. Everybody can be against me. If God is for me, I'm more than conqueror. That's why I'm appealing, I'm seriously appealing to those of you who are here tonight. Because it's a very, very special night indeed. If you are still living in sin, it is time to repent. If you have not given your life to Jesus Christ before, come and do so tonight. If you say you are a Christian and you are still living in sin, you are a backslider, come and give your life back to Jesus Christ. Holiness is the master key. Hi, precious saints. God bless you for joining us on this um, wonderful time, a journey with the Lord and through his word, 
it's perfect and in a season as this that we bring you God's undiluted word. So it could be a blessing to your life and also to many and everyone around you. Our CCGNCP YouTube channel is designated to ensure that the word of the Lord comes ceaselessly to your way and brightening your path. Ensure it engages with every aspect of your life, touching your finance, relationship, marriage, and all that concerns your life. Everything that is not um, functional in your life, this world ensures that it hits them, melts them, and brings them to be confined to the perfect will of God. And that is why we are designated and sent, mandated to this social space so that your life and destiny will look like truly what God has programmed and destined it to be. It's been a wonderful time, even in the word of the Lord. I believe you have to uh, engage the words, the prophecies, the declaration which you've received and get them in prayers, believing that this word will not fall to the ground until it is made manifest in your life. Join us in this journey as we delve into the absolute word of God and to see that God's word is made manifest in our lives and even through our lives reaching many in this journey if you are a new viewer we kind of like you to subscribe to our youtube channel by click clicking the subscribe button and also hitting the notification bell this will help you stay notified whenever there is a new upload on our channel and also don't forget to leave us with a comment uh, like the video and most importantly doing the work of an evangelist by sharing these videos to your loved ones family and friends and so that this world would also bless as many lives as possible. You're welcome once again and we'd like you to stay tuned for much more videos that will truly transform your life. God bless you so.